Section twenty nine of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell, by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. To Imagination by Emily Bronte. When weary with the long day's care, and earthly change from pain to pain, and lost and ready to despair, thy kind voice calls me back again. O oh, my true friend, I am not lone, while then can speak with such a tone. So hopeless is the world without, the world within I doubly prize. The world where guile and hate and doubt and cold suspicion never rise, where thou and I and liberty have undisputed sovereignty. What matters it that all around danger and guilt and darkness lie? If but within our bosom's bound we hold a bright untroubled sky, warm with ten thousand mingled rays of suns that know no winter days. Reason, indeed, may oft complain for nature's sad reality, and tell the suffering heart how vain its cherished dreams must always be. And truth may rudely trample down the flowers of fancy, newly blown. But thou art ever there to bring the hovering vision back, and breathe new glories o'er the blighted spring, and call a lovelier life from death, and whisper with a voice divine of real worlds as bright as thine. I trust not to thy phantom bliss, yet still in evening's quiet hour, with never-failing thankfulness, I welcome thee benignant power, sure solacer of human cares, and sweeter hope when hope despairs. End of section 29